Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find out what's behind a tiny URL without actually clicking on the link. I made a video about how to do this with Bitly last week, and it was pretty popular, so I thought I'd make a follow-up here for a tiny URL. Let's take a look. So I have this long link here that I want to shorten, and I'm going to go to tiny URL and shorten it like I normally would and make that tiny URL. Now I'm using tiny URL for good purposes here. We can see here I have that shortened URL and I copy that and I give it to somebody else and they want to look at it. So typically they would just click on that link and it would automatically redirect them. But sometimes people use tiny URL for purposes that aren't so great and you want to know what's behind that URL before you actually click on the link. Well, one of the things you can do is to take that link and simply add a plus to the end of it. And when you do that, you'll see that that takes you to the tiny URL page where you can see what the original URL is that's being redirected by a tiny URL. And if you like that, you can then proceed to that site. So again, the trick is to simply add a plus to the end of any tiny URL URL. That will take you to the page on tiny URL where that original link was shortened. And you can see if it's something you want to click on or not. By the way, if you use the one in my video right now, you go to the Practical EdTech Virtual Summer Camp where you can sign up to join me for one of the three sessions that I'm hosting this summer. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com, practicaledtech.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel.